Heroes Arizonensis. Uh, commonly called Arizona Centipede or Arizona Desert Centipede, Sonoran Centipede, Sonoran Desert Centipede. Seems kind of nervous. Hmm. Might not be a good idea to hold this guy right there. Seems a little creepy. Scolopendra heroes is the largest native U.S. centipede. With centipedes, we typically talk about body length, which is the length of their body, not counting their antenna or legs. My centipede is about 6 to 7 inches long and is an adult. The largest of this species I've ever seen was about 10 inches in body length, but I have heard fairly reputable reports of 12 to 14 inches. I suspect part of the reason that centipedes grow to such long lengths is they grow like crocodiles, and that they keep growing as they get older. Uh, as the name Arizonensis implies, maybe, uh, these actually come from Arizona. Um, when you're talking about animal names, the uh, ensis ending just means like front. So the Scolopendra heroes Arizonensis just means uh, Scolopendra heroes from Arizona. And the Scolopendra heroes species comes in three kind of major color patterns. This one's Arizonensis. There's another one called Castanisets. That has this black color on the whole body. And the uh, terminators and the head are light. And Swolopendra Heroes Heroes. Uh, actually, I kind of forget. I think it's the most rare, but uh, some other crazy bright color pattern. The Scolopendra hero species has a fairly wide range in the United States and Mexico. Uh, the western border is the Colorado River, the eastern border is the Mississippi River, they extend north into parts of Kansas, and they extend south into Mexico.
Venom. This species is reported to have cytotoxic components of its venom. What this means is at least some parts of the venom are designed to aggressively destroy the cells in an animal's tissue. Wounds from cytotoxic envenomations can sometimes leave much more extensive scars than the initial mechanical damage would leave one to expect. Hospitalization probably is not required. Anybody bitten by a large adult is probably going to experience one to possibly three days of local swelling and pronounced local pain. The elderly and the very young, when bitten, probably should seek medical attention, however. Unlike spiders, which deliver venom through fangs, which are mounted on chelicera, which are appendages associated with their mouth, centipedes deliver venom through forciples, which are actually modified walking legs. Also, it is a common myth or misconception that the venom is delivered through the enlarged last pair of legs. In fact, those can apply only mechanical damage and are actually the primary line of defense in a centipede's arsenal. The venom delivery forcibles are mounted just behind the head. This film was about Scolopendra Heroes Arizonensis Colorform. Thanks for watching.